This is going to be a really short video, guys. Here we go again. Back with more Pro Cycle Manager career mode. It's the final mountain states of the Tour de Saint Louis. And we're currently in seventh place. I don't know why the first part of the recording didn't work out. So I just realized that it didn't work out. So I'm recording over again now. And this is only this really what's going to be showing. Right now I'm in seventh place. The competition is pretty tough. Actually, I'm up against Quintana, Kvimenzla, Philip Silbert, Roman Kreuziger, Colbrelli, Prambilla. Some really strong riders here, Rohan Dennis as well from BMC. And I need to get some five. Right now I'm in seventh place. And I didn't do that well in my first mountain stage. I'm, I have gone on a training camp, but my fitness still is pretty terrible. It is getting better and better as the race is progressing on, but I still need to get a minute or so on one of these five, six guys actually, because I need to overtake two of them to get into the top five, of course. So that's going to be really difficult to do, so I'm kind of hoping for guys like Pambilla and Amador. I think I can overtake Amador, but it's going to be a lot tougher to overtake a guy like Pambilla here. Otherwise, I need to get two minutes on one of the four guys up here. That's going to be pretty close to impossible, but I am actually the second best climber in the entire race, so... If I'm in good shape, it should be possible. Let's try it out. The last 16 kilometers now, I'm really pulling up front with Kemna, Pollitt, Moreno, Oman, Kudo sitting here, uh, being protected by uh, Oman, of course, as I just said. Uh, Quintana sitting actually right behind my train, which is could be good for me because we're going really fast, so hopefully he's lost some bit of energy. I don't know if that's good or bad, but we're now into the final climb. It is actually a really tough climb. Uh, once again, I'm in bad shape. I wasn't the last one. You didn't see it, but I was minus four last time. And I ended up in sixth or seventh place in the mountain, uh, mountain stage. And I could have ended up a lot worse because I was so dead, at the, even at the beginning of the climb. So I'm pretty much expecting the same thing here. Came there right now. And Pilot can probably relax at the moment here. Because they've done all they can. And now we can set uh, Kudos to move a bit up front. That Famolo is not a threat, Perth is not a threat, but John is third, Quintana, Pambilla. I swear Pambilla is the one of the guys I want to drop. So let's see if that would be possible at one point during this stage. Still have Omen right now protecting me. Perth, Famolo, I don't care them that much. I don't think they're going to overtake me. I know they're close to me in the standings, but I just don't see it happening. Pambilla. It's nice that he's sitting back here. Oram, Amador, of course, as well. Koizuka is not here as well, actually. That I didn't even realize that. But right now, I, I only have two guys who are head of, head of the standings with me. I have three of the guys behind me. I have uh, Amador, Pambila, and Koizuka sitting back here. No, none of the Tinker Saxo riders who are head of me in the standings currently are sitting up here. So that's a pretty good sign. As you can see, I'm really struggling even keeping up with these guys up here. There's still ten comes to the, to the finish line and they're going so fast already. I don't know how they can last this pace all the way up the mountain. Right now I have around 40 seconds. Quintana is going so low now. He's way stronger than everybody else in this pelt on this. I'm a door stopping now. Five man group here with Cataldo. Pompila is here. They have been caught again. I'm going solo right now. S sitting just behind the three guys. I don't care about Quintana, I'm not going to win overall anyway, I'm not going to win the state, I just want top 5. Right now, I think I am actually in top 5. I think I'm in top 5 right now, because I think I got that minute to Pambila at the moment. Famoro attacking again, the minute I come up here, he attacks again. But Bongiorno or Pearls can't keep up. I can't be overtaken too much by Famoro either, which is what I'm really worrying about right now. Because there's still such a long way to the top. Of the climb. It seems like actually Bongiorno and is done. I think Bongiorno is done. And if he's done now, I, I can gain up to two minutes on him, which is what I'm behind right now. But I don't I know I don't know if he's completely done or if he's just like fake done. If he's just sitting himself back. And Mador pulling up Koisika now. People are just sitting solo at the moment. Rohan Dennis, actually I forgot about Rohan Dennis as well. Cataldo. I think Pambila is done, and Ron Dennis seems to be a long way behind as well. He has to gain a lot of time at the final four kilometers here if he wants to get up. I have to go down to 65 again now, because otherwise I'll die out and end up being caught by the groups behind me. 
Uh, it's this is so difficult because because there's so many writers right now saying all over this client that it's really difficult to keep an overview of how am I doing right now. See, right now I have one minute and a half down to Pearls, Bonjour, and Kreuzigo. I mean, that should be enough. That really should be enough. Kreuzigo, I don't think I'll overtake, but it should be enough top five because just because it's like two minutes and I'm only like two minutes behind, so. I'm thinking this should be enough right now. So now my yellow bar is empty. I can use my my green bar now and my uh, and sprint energy meter here. I probably shouldn't go up to 70. I should probably just stick with 65. There's still two kilometers still to go. Still three man group behind me. Amador tries to get up again. Kreuziger wants to get up to me. And Famolo Quintana is so far ahead. Has gone over the steepest part of his climb now. So have I. I have no idea left, neither have Formolo. I don't think he has any sprint power left to actually attack past me, so I think the second place on the stage might be sure. I'm not sure, of course, about that. But I can take my second place, and maybe this will even get me a second place overall, depending on how far. I don't think that it will. But Corsica is a long way past me. I think this will only give me a third place finish, which is also a really respectable finish overall. But yeah, ended up working out in the end. I was really worried about it, but a really fun climb to drive today. After simulating through the final sprint stage, which ended up being a victory by Sasha Modolo in front of Calprelli and Sam Bennett. We ended up with the following standings. Me in third place, 10 seconds away from second place. Quintana was really dominant, winning with over 5 minutes. So, not a chance of me getting there. Could probably have beaten Kreuziger if my first mountain stage has been a bit better. But he beat me into that stage and of course the time trial where he's a lot better than me as well. Ended up in third place, which I'm really happy about. Completed my sponsor objective. And I think I even got a small bonus for getting top 3 instead of top 5. So, that's it for this video. Next up, just check out here. Let's see, have the sponsor objectives? Not yet. But next up is Vuelta a Andalusia Ruta del Sol which consists of a time trial, a hill stage, and a mount stage. We'll probably pick either Kudos again or Hinao for that one. Otherwise, see you guys next time. See you next time. Goodbye.